Tom Nappy here with Hopkinton Town Manager Norman Kamalo. And some great news recently happened in Hopkinton. We'll tell you about that in just a moment. But first, Norman, how are you? How's everything going? I'm doing good, Tom. Thank you for having me tonight. Thanks for joining us. So the uh, town and the 26.2 Foundation recently reached a 99-year lease deal. Uh, could you talk a little bit about uh, what the deal was all about? Yes, um, that's a very good question. It's a deal that would allow the construction of the International Marathon Center at 53 East Main Street. And it lays out the due diligence process as well as the obligations um, on the town's part as well as on the 26.2 foundation's part. And it's very exciting. It's the International uh, Marathon Center. It will be kind of like a marathon museum type of place or a Hall of Fame type of place. Um, what do you think uh, the benefits are going to be to the town with this uh, International Marathon Center uh, coming into town? I think uh, it'll certainly attract some tourism. Yes, certainly. And, and in fact, on this point, let's, let's talk about this in two, in two segments. The first segment being what it is. Uh, my understanding is that it will be a world-class uh, cultural and educational center uh, representing the power of the human spirit, the development of democracy, uh, excellence in sports, as well as wellness. In terms of its benefit to the community, it needs to be said that this is a very interesting moment in Hopkinton, where we have the International Marathon Center under discussion uh, on its way to being developed, the Main Street Corridor project moving along, and there's a strong interest in Hopkinton relative to building life sciences along South Street. So if you put all of this together, here's what the International Marathon Center will add. Definitely, it will have Hopkinton as part of the uh, tourist destinations in the Commonwealth. Secondly, it will become part of the economic development engine, not just for Hopkinton, but for the rest of the Metro West area, as well as the other supporting communities along 495, 128, and even Boston. And then last but not least, as we have all seen uh, around the days of the marathon, we have a huge global village building around Hopkinton. With the International Marathon Center being in place, that global village coming along with this diplomatic power will become present in Hopkinton 365 days of the year. I, th I think it's gonna be incredible and uh, attract people from all over the world. And I'm sure they're gonna have some great events there as well uh, related to the marathon. Uh, so can you talk about the uh, agreement a little bit? How long did it take to uh, reach this agreement uh, with the 26.2 foundation? And uh, can you just, uh, I guess, explain uh, the process of reaching this agreement? I, I think the, the answer to that is the development of the International Marathon Center has been uh, a vision, a topic of discussion in the community for a long time. The signing of the list is just one step in a longer marathon. And thus, my interest is more forward looking in terms of what this might mean for Hopkinton, as we just discussed. Uh, in any lease agreement or lease discussion, there is due diligence on the part of the parties that are participating. And that's the effort that went into putting the lease agreement together. And, and I was curious, how come 99 years? Why not 100? <laughs> yeah, no, 99 years uh, is a general term that is used in uh, real estate lease terms. 
And this was the decision by town meeting to have this as a 99 year lease, uh, given the immense and significant substantial investment that the 26.2 foundation will be making in this facility. Ah, okay. And I have a feeling it'll be around a lot more than 99 years. Uh, so uh, do you have an estimated time frame of when the Marathon Center will be complete or when they're going to start working on it? Yeah, li listening to the comments from our partners uh, in the 26.2 Foundation, I've heard the year 2024 as the date that this is projected or that this facility is projected to open. Well, uh, Norman, we are certainly excited to uh, have the International Marathon Center coming into town. I think it's going to be really cool and there'll be some great events surrounding the facility as well. Thanks so much for taking the time to talk with us today. Thank you for having me this evening and uh, happy Memorial Day weekend. Same to you.